Hey there, and welcome to this week's episode of My Opinion On. We are talking about marriage this week. It was suggested by Xigmus, I think it is. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And if you want to have your topic in this week serious, it's got to be a serious topic. Just leave it in the comment section below, and maybe it will be in one of the next episodes. But please look up the playlist first, because I've done, I think, 35 episodes of this. So, <laughs> yeah, I've covered a lot of topics. So yeah, we're talking about marriage. First of all, let's let me get you a little number, and that's 50%. 50% of all German marriages are divorced in the first year. So that's a huge number. That means every second couple splits up after one year. That's just it's an insane number if you ask me. If you look back maybe 50, 60 years, there wasn't a number like this. You know, basically no marriage at all was ever divorced. Of course, it had to do with, you know, it was it wasn't socially acceptable to you know to get divorced it, it just wasn't you know if your husband died everything okay, most of the time the husband died yeah if he died it was okay and you weren't allowed to marry again as a woman and i think you even weren't i think you were allowed to marry again as a guy if i recall that right but i don't know i think most of the time the husband died there wasn't many cases where the woman died so yeah, but today we get this huge number that every second marriage will end up in a divorce after only one year. That's very fast. And I think in the second year, this number actually rises. So yeah, that's kind of a bad thing in my opinion. I don't know. For me, marriage is something very special. You know, if I ever get married, I have no idea if I ever want to marry. That's It's kind of a weird question. But yeah, if I ever get to marry, I will marry one girl and that's it. I will marry her and I'll be together with her for the rest of my life. If it doesn't work out and if we have to get a divorce, I won't marry after her again. It's just... I want to do this one time, if I want to do it, I want to do it one time and one time only. I want it to be special, you know, if I get married again, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, you know. <laughs> I don't know, for me it's just a very special bond and of course it has its perks, you know. In Germany, for example, if you get married, you are basically one person after that. So you got the same last name, I think that's the same for basically every country on this planet. <laughs> I think it's normal that the woman takes the guy's name. Today, in today's society, it's kind of becoming normal that they get a double name or that even the man can take the woman's name. It, Yeah, new times, whatever. But yeah, in Germany, it's still kind of normal-ish that yeah, the woman takes the guy's name. And I think that's kind of cool. You know, it just shows their bond that they are really one family. And yeah, as I said, they become basically one person in Germany. So they only have to pay a small amount of taxes because they are married and... I don't know, there are many perks, like the taxes, as I said, and for, oh yeah, for example, that's very important, you know, I almost forgot to mention that. If you are married, the your marriage partner, your, you know, your husband or your wife will get the full power of attorney, I think it's called, the full power of law, I have no idea how it's called exactly, but that means if you come to the hospital and, you know, you're so so severely injured that you basically have to die you know you're only living through machines in that case she can say okay just turn the machines off or you know don't turn them off whatever if you are in a coma for example she can turn the machines off or he can turn the machines off and if you are if you go insane for example it's the same they can decide what happens to you and you know that's one reason why i think marriage is a kind of a good thing but on the other hand it's a very important thing that you marry the right person because you know that's a huge amount of power basically you're giving one person so you really have to trust that one person you have to be you know sure that they know your wishes and that they will actually act upon your wishes you know People can be selfish, so basically if you're in a coma and it is your wish to die, but your, you know, wife doesn't want you to die, that's kind of a, you know, it's a moral conflict there and she might, you know, let the machines be turned on and you will just, you know, be like a vegetable for your last couple of years, it's, eh, it's not a good thing, but yeah. So marriage, it has its perks, but... As I said, the divorce rate is very high, and as I said, I don't know if I ever want to marry, but if I am, I will be damn sure it's the right girl, or the right woman, for that matter. And, yeah, 
everything will be decided then. I think it's even, you know, kind of becoming common that the woman actually asks the guy if they want to marry. You know, I never, you know, I don't know any kind of couple that did that, but hey, it could be cool. Maybe I'll meet a girl that will ask me if I want to marry her. That would be so weird. And, you know, I don't know, it, do they actually get, get to their knees and ask with a ring and stuff like that? That would be so freaking weird. But yeah, whatever. What's your opinion on marriage? Please leave it in the comment section below and rate the video, of course, if you enjoyed it. And that was it for this video for this week's episode of my opinion on as i said i hope you enjoyed it i'm lost link signing out <laughs>